Nothing says undercover mission from the Jedi Council like bright pink armor and dual lightsabers. I mean, of course, and a Jedi and a blue twi'lek. I, I mean, we're not exactly doing subtlety right now, are we? Docking Bay Mechanic, hello. Business is up a little, so leave me to my work. Oh, sorry, okay. Wow, what a dick. Here we are in Anchorhead. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Adventures of Grandpa Crap. So today's only going to be a short episode because I haven't got much time, uh, basically. Uh, and tomorrow there probably won't be an episode at all. I, I was going to pre-record stuff. Um, I know I said I was going to do that a couple of days ago, but I decided not to in the end because I thought it would just be rushing out content and I want everybody to be kind of... I want us all to be on the same page. I want to be able to read the feedback and whatever else. So here we are. Um, Please. I was going to say... Did, <laughs> why didn't that trigger a cutscene? Oh. Uh, what do you need? I'm Grandpa Crap. I'll help if I can. Oh, thank you. I don't have anywhere else to turn. If you're down and out on Tatooine, you're on your own. My husband was a hunter. I mean, it could be worse. Killed out on the dunes. This raid plate is all I have left. Please, will you buy it? A I don't raid need a handout. Plate. I just can't sell it to Faza without a license. Please, I'm worried about having it. They're so rare. I mean, this is probably a scam, okay? But... We're a goody two shoes, don't forget. I wouldn't be able to sell it. I'm no hunter. No. But you looked. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I wonder I if this is a scam. I genuinely like don't hunter. remember. Are you sure you're not going to be getting a license? I mean, you don't look like a farmer, and the only way to be allowed out of Anchorhead is to get a hunting license. That seems very bizarre. Where would I get a license, and what's the cost? Zerka Corporation sells them out of their office just south of here in the center of Anchorhead. That's where my husband got his. I think they charge 200 credits. Oh. But they've been known to make exceptions. All right. I can do that then. Uh, let's go back to do with this plate. Will you buy it? I mean, I can't buy it, but I could take it and sell it for you. Is That, that sounds like a dark side threat. Um, I can't afford it right now. I think I'll just have to take it from you. Can we not afford it? I suppose we bought this bright pink armor. Which set us back quite a lot, didn't it? Uh, yeah, only 239 credits. We do need to scrounge up some money in that case. Let's go and have a look in the hunting lodge then. See if maybe we can get some, I don't know, gainful employment, perhaps? Here we are. Kudos. It's a two-party system. You have to vote for one of us. Hello. Uh, what do you do? I fill the days with games of Pazak. Okay, right, so we found the Pazak player. I'll play him later. We're not going to play Pazak mid-episode, because I think it'll be a waste of everybody's time. Again, look... I get it, okay? It's Star Wars. Callbacks are what they do. You got the whole forces of the guiding thing. Having a guy called Comad Fortuna is uh, very annoying when, again, this is supposed to be set 5,000 years. Someone made a good comment about that, but I've got a good rebuttal as well. Comad Fortuna. Uh, yes, is there something you wish, human? Uh, information, if I could trouble such a worthy hunter for a moment. Spare me the flattery. Since talk is rarely sincere. Okay, who are you? What do you do? I'm Comad Fortuna, a hunter and a member of this lodge. It's not the life for everyone, but I'm content. Where, where is the best hunter? The best hunter is wherever the best hunter is. It's a try answer, human, but the only one I can give. It depends on what you seek. Raider Plentiful, and the spoils... And are the spoils of the sport on? Dragons appear to be the... Dragons appear only to the true hunter. I don't know why that's really difficult to read with the different colored fucking font. Patience is key. Create dragons hunt alone, and their prey is whatever can catch their attention. So dragons are rare. Are they dangerous? They're both rare and dangerous. An honor to hunt. If you survive, you're blessed and favored. Respect them. Some try to lessen the risk by mass hunting with battle droids, but I would rather hunt solo. Oh, that's a bit of a hint there. Who uses battle droids? I will not speak of it while they live. It's a shame to admit all hide. They know the effect it has. Perhaps they would kill so many raid that day they also kill the hunt. Perhaps after the solo hunter will still prosper. So he doesn't like unfair hunting, basically. Uh, how much is your life worth to you? We could bully him. We're not going to do that. It's just kind of shoehorned in dark side option for no reason. Uh, Faza Utrol. Hello. Come to test your skill on the endless dunes of Tatooine. Fassa's Lodge has the best place to arrange it. This world may not have much, but it does have the meanest predators this side of the Galactic Rim. A hunter's paradise. Uh, do you have anything for sale or trade? Oh, okay. Well, we can't do that, I'm afraid. Uh, what do you do here? I purchase what the sportsmen bring in. It's not a bad little job. Okay. You know you want to get in on it. Pay 200 credits for a license down the hunter. Uh, okay, so at the Zerk office, we can just straight buy one for 200 credits. Got it. All oh, right then. Would you consider lowering the fee? Well, that's not up to me now, is it? I'll have to sort the people down at the Zerker office in the center of town. 
All right, then. Well, I suppose there's not much points for you can spend on our city, as we're not a hunter. Dorak Quinn? Get lost, Tenderfoot. I hunt Desert Raid. I don't babysit. Tenderfoot? Come now, I just want to benefit from your experience. Well, you sure know how to get on my good side. You're just trotting out bantha paths, but thanks all the same. Wow, what a strange thing to say. Uh, who are you? What is it you do? My name is, he a is hunter? Dorak Quinn. I'm a hunter. I hunt. Is that enough, or should I start listing my family birthdays? My family birthdays? No, thank you. Uh, you know what? We don't need to talk to these guys. I th they are, just for the most part... Oh, did I accidentally click a fight option? Leave now with forced persuade. Oh, I didn't mean to accidentally... I thought that was going to be the closed dialogue. We get dark side points for that. Oh! I accidentally threatened a man. I just clicked the bomb option. Since when is that not? I'll be leaving. Let's speak to these Gamorians. Maybe Gurkha do, but that's not our business. All right, Gurkha. Hello. Boys, it talked to me. What do you want, human? Gurkha has no time for you. Yeah, you tell him, Gurkha. Uh, if I wanted advice, I'm sure you're very smart. Hmm, trying to get my secrets, I bet. Trying to find where I hunt, huh? I tell you nothing. Yeah, you get nothing. Um, I'll leave. Watch your tongue, piggy, so I rip them out. Oh, so every bottom option is a threat. Well, let's be careful about that in the future. <laughs> I can't read today, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and translate a bunch of characters who, to be honest, don't do anything. They're characters who just here to be threatened by dark side characters. It's very bizarre. Uh, Tanis Ven. What can I do for you? Hello. Uh, looking for experts who seem knowledgeable. No, I'm all right. Uh, goodbye. And again, he's another guy to threaten. Well, let's get out of here then. Before we can do anything, we should go get that hunting license before we we get too invested in the scene of tattooing hunting. Manor. D D that human woman, I'm outraged. Do one of your species place yourself on such annoying pedestals? I'm sorry, what are you talking about? You should be sorry for sharing a species with that creature. I swear. Helena must be your word for a pit rancor. Helena? Bastilla, isn't that your mother's name? Her mother was supposed to be here somewhere. Ask if they've seen her. Seen her? Human, you couldn't miss her if she tried. She strolled into the cantina like she owned the place. Is she still there? Probably. I don't think anyone else could top her attitude, so she won't be leaving. I won't go and be going back while she's there, though. Try to find her. I doubt she wants to be kept waiting. You're actually looking for her? You humans, you're all out of your minds. All right, well, that's the quest for Bastila's mother, then. Hello. Something you want? I don't have a lot of time for talk, so please, make it quick. Is he drunk? I want to ask some questions. Hmm. All right, uh, describe your job and who you work for. Very bizarre. It's all just kind of set dressing. You know, just kind of all stuff for you to get immersed in the world of Tatooine. The most boring planet on the whole of Star Wars. You'll be hearing about this, you Zerka puppet. I'm not going to let this drop. You can't just murder a whole village. And don't tell me to take my concerns to your corporate kiosk. I know where I'm not wanted. What's going on here? Who are you? I'm done talking in this office. They aren't interested in listening to me. I doubt they'll even acknowledge I was here. Typical, typical corporate evasion. That's what happens when they own everything. No accountability. Don't even bother bringing it up. Actually, I think you'll find that they reshuffle under a new parent company and change their name to something cynical like Alphabet or Meta. Those are just examples, of course. Hello, protocol officer. Can I help you? These are the offices of the Zerka Corporation. I trust you have business with the company. If this is about employment, I'm afraid all regular mining positions are full. Oh. And before you ask, we are also no longer selling hunting licenses. Oh, man, that's why I was here. I want to ask about hunting licenses. <laughs> before you ask, we're no longer selling them. I want to ask you about them, though. As I said, we are no longer selling them. There are too many people cavorting about outside the walls as it is. Uh, why would I need a license anyway? We use them to ensure that only people judged fit by Zerka Corporation are allowed outside the city. We don't allow casual exploration because of legal I like concerns. that. Zerka Corporation takes no responsibility for loss of life on the dunes. Shockingly evil. It's just evil. so we can keep track of people. No one leaves the city without a Zerka hunting license. This is going to be the future of planet Earth. Is there no way to get a license? Well, normally we charge 200 credits, but I could make an exception if you agreed to perform a task for us. Okay. It's similar to hunting. I'm pretty good the at sand hunting. people are becoming a problem. Oh. They destroy our sand crawlers and kill our miners. One particular tribe is the worst. It's as if their chieftain has decided to wage war against us. I would like their attacks terminated. Oh, good. Bring me their gaffy sticks as proof. If you agree to do this, I'll give you a hunting license now and pay a bounty for each stick later. I'll give a bonus for the chieftains. Okay. Uh, do we want to go and wipe out a village of sand people? I don't want to do this. Then you are free to leave the city just like everyone else. Zerka Corporation will welcome your eventual change of mind. Please, feel free I to I think she was supposed to say you are free you. to not leave the city, but she quite clearly said you are free to leave the city. What if we agree to do it, but then, like, don't actually do it? Agree to hold her. 
It's about money with sand people. You go to the Zerker offices. I just managed to storehouse. What do you have available for purchase? Okay. They always sell, like, at least one unique item. So let's have a look through. And the Powered Battle Armor is the one that gives the strength bonus. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, Wow, nothing at all, huh? Motion detection goggles, they're okay. Sound dampening unit, uh, an upgrade. Well, they really have nothing here, do they? That's a bit disappointing. All right, well, we could buy a life support pack or two. I suppose there's not much point when we've all got bloody four seal these days. So... She will only give us a hunting license if we agree to wipe out a village of sand people. Don't you believe a word of what Zerka Corporation said in there? There's always a peaceful solution to conflict. They're just lazy. What do you mean? What are you talking about? The Zerka miners have been attacked by the sand people, so the company Zerka Corporation wants them killed. They didn't ask you to do it. The sand people aren't animals. I've watched them. They're intelligent. There must be a way to peacefully stop the attacks, and I know it. But no one will try, of course. You can't even leave the city without Zerka approval. And they want the sand people dead. Intelligent or not, the sand people have attacked the settlers. Yes, they have. But Zerka Corporation exploited numerous giant sand crawlers to tear up the desert with iron shovels and whatever else. What would you have done? To the sand people, must have seemed like an invasion. There was no negotiation for territory or resources. Don't think the killing has been justified. But as a conservationist, I'm hoping someone at least tries to talk them out of it. Okay. What would you suggest then? Communication. If we could just speak to them, but they don't talk, at least not in any language an average translator can understand. There was even a Jedi here a few years ago that couldn't seem to get through to them. I think that ended in blood too. I'm not saying it would be easy, but someone has to try. Maybe with a real translation droid, not the old protocol scrap peeps walking around. Well, who would have a capable droid? They're pretty rare, even on well-stocked worlds, but I heard something about an unusual droid here in a shop on Tatooine. I heard Yuka Laka say that it could speak a sand people dialect, although he'd say Rust is gold to make a sale. With that droid, maybe you could talk to them. Okay. He thinks that maybe with a robe or disguise, we could get into their enclave. Where would we get the robes? Because you could take them off the warrior raiders in the Dune Sea. There's nowhere to survive against something like that. Plus, you would have to explain why you killed their warriors if you're trying to make peace, but I suppose that there's no other way. And where would the Enclave be? There's no secret where they are. The attacks get worse further southwest in the dune you go. Okay. Um, okay, I'll look into it. Sure, that's what the Zerg Corporation keeps saying. They start shooting again. The one is as likely as the other with the way things are going, but I don't know what to do. What a sad story. I mean, obviously, us being the goody two-shoes that we are, right? We have to go for... We're not going to just wander in and, and slay them all. That doesn't... That, that not only seems just, like, incredibly unnecessary, but very un-Jedi. Citizens of Anchorhead. As far as I recall, Tatooine is absolutely tiny compared to quite a few of the other planets. I mean, all the planets are kind of small, to be fair, but... Oh. I think we may have a fight coming up. <laughs> See you boys later. We're going to go and ride a swoop bike. Okay. You can rail. What do you want? You here for money? I bet the hut what I owe as soon as the circuit's back on his feet. No, you don't look like a crazy. You're just some kid. Go on, I don't have time for you. Oh. Um. Maybe you were right. Maybe I do want money. Uh. Spare a moment? If I say no, you'll probably hound me to death. Fine, what do you want? I want to ask you about racing. Sure. So much use when we get out of me. You can run us on the way down. I can't match the young riders. Is this the best place for racing? <laughs> but I hope so. It's the last stop for me so we can get some decent times going. I may as well not be here. I wish I could use the destruction of Taras as an excuse, but I doubt I would have ever made it back there. Okay. Uh, I have to leave. Goodbye. I hope we can race here. These are obviously all the other racers. Motta the Hut. He's the man to speak to. Who are you? Ah, oh, nobody. What do you want? Hand out to go dig a mine, fool. Uh, show some respect, you overgrown slug. I guess we'll just go for now. Can we register here? Sorry, the track's only for races, but Motta has accepted and signed up. He pays for the upkeep, so that's his choice. Go and talk to him. All right, Motta the Hut, remember me? You again? Look, are you here to race or aren't you? I don't have time for anything else. I raced on Terrace. I won the season opener there. Ha! You and 12 other lies. Planet blows up, race records are lost, now everyone's a champion. My friend tells the truth. I am a Jedi. Are you going to imply that I am lying as well? Ha <laughs> <laughs> now you are a champion and travel with a Jedi? Does the story get bigger with every telling? Nobody here can compare with the racers you rode against on Terrace. You'll wipe every record from the books of this backwater track. Okay, okay, enough of the funny stuff. You think you're a racer? You'll be the one. Do you have your own bike? 
Uh, I have my own bike sport stored on my ship. You got a bike and you can race. I don't care about experience, as long as you can get out on the track. If you crash and burn, that's your problem. I just need warm bodies to pad the roster between the pros. As a matter of small track maintenance for your 100 credits. Force persuade. I don't need to pay the fee. You don't need to pay the fee. It's just a formality. I'll let you use the track for practice and set up with your first official race right away. All right, then. Set me up with a race, big man. Uh, he wants 100 credits. Oh. We negotiate. Uh, Force Persuade, you want to let me race for free? Yeah, maybe I'll let you race for free. I'll have you swoop moved into position on the track. So I think we got the first race for free, and that's it. Oh, God. Uh, okay, that was a slow start, but I've got it. Look at the banther. Oh, God. Is this good? Maybe you should try spinning. That's a neat trick. Oh, God, I'm no arc bumpy Roos, I'll tell you that much. Come on, speed, Grample. There's got to be an optimum pad to hit because you can't hit all of those. That's impossible. 2298. Okay. Was that any good? Oh, I assume that's a yes. You passed the first tier and earned 10 racing bonds. Not bad. Show for a beginner. You beat guns time easily. Take this with my thanks. We'll see if we can do it better in tier two. All right, fuck it. Let's do it again. We negotiate. Nah, he won't. All right, it's 100 credits. We can't afford to lose because we've only got 100 credits. So I need something to play Pazak with. All right, go. Fucking thing. That's cost us a few seconds already. Okay, here we go. This is the one. <laughs> I remember these suit races at like the higher levels being fucking tough as nails. I think there's no point even trying to go for some of these. I bet we could have hit that one there that I skipped over. 23-29. That was worse than the first attempt. Good lord. All right. Was that any good, old man? What do you call that, then? Winners draw the t crowd, not lazy times like that. Just set me up with a race. Every time I fail, it's 100 credits, so I might have to do a bit of Pazak in combination with Swoop Racing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's right. That was a lazy time. I can do better. Okay, here we go. Maximum focus. No pissing around. Oh, I missed one. That's bad. Oh, I've already fucked it. Oh, I missed another. Okay, 22.69. Nice. I mean, that's the same as the first time we got, right? Was that better? Yeah, it was. <laughs> we passed the second tier, run 30 racing bonds. I suppose you'll be against my local pro attractions in tier 3 next. You've already ruined Yuka Rill. Oh. Poor Yuka Rill. Right, we'll do one more and then we'll leave it for today because, like, you know. I haven't already dealt with this fee. The fee is due before each race. Ah, oh, shit. We didn't negotiate. Nope, I'm sorry. I haven't got any money. So, what the hell do the racing bonds do then? We turn them in for credits or, like, or what? Well, let's go and have a chat with the guy at the desk. Racing bonds? Gee, we ate the Hello. Uh, I have no idea. Oh. No thanks. Goodbye. What are we getting out of this? What the hell do I do with the racing bonds? I need credits. That's why I'm racing. <laughs> I've, I've lost more money racing. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. Oh, we've heard this he before. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Uh, is that going to be you, is it? Yeah. Bet. Oh, look, they're actually using Dark Side Force powers now. Oh my god, we are slicing them to pieces. Yeah. Not stunned? Oh no, I just think they're out of combat and started it. Wow, that's embarrassing, isn't it? What a shame. Not a lightsaber crystal, though. The guy had a Charney lightsaber. Yellow lightsaber crystal, for some reason. Crystal red, short lightsaber. We should upgrade a short lightsaber and see if the balance would be better in our offhand. I don't think I actually tried that in the end, did I? At this point, it doesn't really matter because our chance to hit is so gigantic. I mean, what fucking difference does it make? Ronto. Hello, Ronto. Okay, what we, is this the cantina? It is, Anchorhead Cantina. And I think that's it. We've got Droid Shop. I don't want to go into the cantina yet because that's the start of Bastilla's kind of companion quest. A lot of people were asking me to to have a chat with oh, next time we have a chat with Bastilla go for the 
Uh, how do we phrase this? More forward voice lines. Go for the more forward options. Hello. Greeting. Hello to you, prospective purchaser. I am referred to as HK-47, oh. a fully functional SizeTech Corporation droid skilled in both combat and protocol functions. Query, would you be so kind as to purchase this model from Yukalaka? Of course. It would serve my purposes to be removed from his ownership. You mentioned battle and protocol. Outline your functions. Refusal. It is not desirable for me to reveal core functions while still in the possession of Yukalaka, prospective purchaser. It is sufficient to say that I am a fully capable translator and cultural analyst, and I am also proficient in personal combat. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's go back to my previous okay. questions. Sell yourself, droid. Why should I need you? <laughs> okay, I'll see about purchasing you. Statement. Why not? The fool Lithorian has decided I am to be an expensive purchase. He does this out of greed and not out of knowledge of my true capabilities. Advisement. I have observed him. He is a coward and will be no. responsive to aggressive bargaining. Aggressive bargaining? Does Yuka Laka know you talk about him like this? Statement. I wish only to be purchased and away from ill treatment at the hands of this poorly skilled mechanic. Okay. Qualification. Oh, of course I shall be quite pleasant to you should you purchase me, please. Okay, we've got a droid who wants to be purchased, who's apparently proficient in uh, translation, which would be very helpful for the Sam people, uh, but also personal combat. <laughs> Hello, what is this? A customer I don't recognize. Perhaps you've been off world money to Yukalaka. I've not got any money left. I don't have a penny. I spent it all on this very ostentatious armor. Uh, what do you what do you have available in your shop? You're lucky to have come at this time. I have one droid ready to go. I just took possession of it. An HK-47. It's a fine protocol translator, but I think it's been modified. Claims to understand the Sam people dialect and also has some armor mounts. Combat ready, perhaps? Uh, okay. Let me ask you a few questions about him. How much is it? He doesn't seem to know much about it. The unit has been a little uncooperative. I didn't get that way too long without a memory wipe. And if the unit proves even more uncooperative once we purchase it. You can leave it alone if you find its mannerisms amusing. Might be a little eccentric, but it's stable. I'm interested. Let's talk price. Well, normally I give a discount because I hear you're a suit race by my brother, but times are hard right now. Or his brother must be the guy that we annihilated earlier. It's a very solid machine in good shape. I can't let it go for less than 5,000 credits. Uh, can I convince you to lower the price a bit? Yeah. 4,000, not a credit less. Uh, I was great, desperate to sell. Uh, no, not really. The first figure was a little high. You never know, the occasional person bites right away. I still can't pay that, I'm not interested. Or, uh, let's, let's try and get it to go even lower. Lower? How low are you expecting me to go these difficult times? The debt the has covered a large one. Force persuade. That sounds very evil. Come now, think of the advertising you get from me. I believe you'd actually tell people my business. All right, the last offer, 2,500 credits. Drop the price, he won't be around to enjoy your profits. We can threaten to murder him. I'm not going to do that. I can't pay that. I'm not interesting. Okay, not interested. Goodbye. So we can haggle him down to 2,500 without going to the extent that we'll threaten to murder him. So I might roll with that, but... Hey, Bastila. Oh. You ever use the forest just for fun? You know... A little jolt of the force to trip up some jerk who's ticking you off. I would never use the force for such petty and trivial revenge. The mere thought of it's preposterous. Ah, oh, come on. There's got to be times when you thought about it. Don't be so stuck up. You can <laughs> tell me. Mission. I am not stuck up. Stuck up is Bastila's middle name. I have years of training to give me the wisdom and understanding to see how childish such an act would be. Childish? Is that a crack about my age? You ain't much older than me, Miss High and Mighty. Just because you're some Jedi doesn't mean you can be a pretty little... What the... Hey, that wasn't funny. I have no idea what you're talking about, Mission. Come now, we have to get going. Please, ah. do try to be less clumsy in the future. Very good. Very, very good and funny. You see what she did there? I like that. Well, now she's stuck up and she's horrible. And a liar. And a hypocrite. Unbelievable. But that's the classic Bastila we all know and love. All right. The cantina. In here, we are looking for Bastila's mother. Fortunately, everybody has a giant floating name above their head, which is mandatory when you live in the Star Wars world. Junix Nard. What a fucking name. Hello. Eh, who are you then? Only new people that come to Junix uh. Nard's cantina are long-time losers and bounty hunters. I don't have to tell you why the two don't mix well. 
Please keep any blaster fire to a minimum. Oh, this place is a dump. You got anything for sale? Zerka Corporation only worries about keeping their own stores full. I don't have much on hand. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like Bender. Uh, what have you got? He's got stabilizer gauntlets. Demolitions plus two. Advanced stealth unit is very good. It's got Gizka poison. Baron of ship is currently rammed full of Gizka. Uh, I mean, the Pazak card... I could be persuaded by... No, we don't need Pazak. Remember, we don't need Pazak. We're, we're better than that. Uh, right. Well, thank you for that. Let's have a chat then, I suppose, with Bastila's mother. There's also Furco Nellis. Well, what a fucking fresh great name. face for the game. I wonder, would you care to play? Oh, he plays Pazak. There's two Pazak players on Tatooine. Well, that's great. All right, here she is. She looks like the, the, she's just kind of got the generic female NPC model. That's something I'm really hoping they don't do with the remaster because it's really bizarre seeing the same character plastered everywhere. Yes. I'm sorry, do I know you? I'm here, Mother. But don't you recognize me? What do you expect when I haven't so much as had a picture of you since you left? Do you know how long I've been trying to find you? You knew as well as I communication would be impossible once I joined the Order. Now what is this about? Where is Father? Then you haven't heard. I should have known. Has something happened to him? Are you going to tell me or not? Your father is dead, Bastila. <gasps> that is part of the reason why I was looking for you. Dead? What happened? What did you do to him? Isn't this a lovely reunion? Already she's flinging insults <laughs> at me. Tell me, you're one of her friends. Do you treat your mother this way? My mother is long dead, if you must know. Must know. I mean, only if she deserved it is also fairly good. Um, I think we should stay middle ground. Very neutral on this. We don't know who's the villain. Bastila could have been a real problem child. I'm sure Bastila feels the same way you do. She would prefer to be left out of it, at least until I'm as dead as her father is. I was told you were sick. Are you actually dying, or is this merely melodrama for my benefit? Such sweet things, you say. <laughs> oh, perhaps I should tell you everything first before we start arguing again. You could start by telling me what you got father into that killed him. She's very I hadn't insistent. realized Jedi was so wow. spiteful. You want me to tell you I brought your father here for an expedition, do you? You want to blame me for his death? You never accepted that your father loved going on his treasure hunts, leaving you alone with me. I was always to blame for everything. What else is new? So yes, fine. I brought your father here to look for crate dragon pearls. Oh. He took an expedition into the Tatooine desert, and he died. How can you be sure of that? Father is an experienced... Do you think I would look for you if I wasn't sure? They were attacked by a crate dragon, and one of the guides fled the battle. He saw your father killed. I see. So what do you want from me? Credits? Oh, don't be insulting. I want you to use those senses of yours. I want you to find him. I want you to bring back his holocron. Why? So you can sell it. Is it too wow. much to ask that She's I have something to remember cold, your father by? Of course it is, isn't it? You couldn't be bothered. We're very busy on a mission from the Jedi Council. I doubt I'll have the time. Ask my companions if you doubt me. Why don't we get... the holocron? Why, why didn't you get the holocron yourself, Helena? Well, I mean, that's a stupid question, isn't it? Why didn't you find your father's remains, Bastila? What remains would there be? Great dragons are huge predators, easily able to devour a human. And the desert is a harsh environment. Finding my father's remains would be an even more impossible task than finding his holocron. An ignoble end to a fine man. Why don't you get the holocron yourself, Helena? As my daughter is quick to point out, I haven't the coin to hire another expedition. Nor am I, I mean, that was an obvious... I don't know why we asked that question. That was that was stupid. <laughs> uh, what about your mother's sickness? It doesn't seem to have anything to do with what she's asking. Are you actually sick, mother? What difference does it make to you? None, I'm sure. Just find your father's holocron, and you won't have to worry about me again either way. That's the kind of response I would expect. Very well. We'll look for the holocron if we have time. I can't promise any more than that. I believe your father was headed north towards the Sand People Enclave. Well, isn't that very I convenient? I will check along that route, dear. Do please hurry. Absolutely. Okay, then. Well, I think we need to go get that hunting certificate, but I have no idea how we're going to do it. I, I hope that just by saying yes to get the license that it won't immediately throw a bunch of darks out at us. Because agreeing to take a license so that you can kill a bunch of Sand People, or more specifically agreeing to kill a bunch of Sand People so you can get a license, uh, is still... Probably, I would argue, fairly evil. But I guess we'll see how it goes. Let's have a chat. 
Oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm making this man stay far worse than it needs to be. Look, we got so close to being the goody two-shoes, and now we're only almost entirely goody two-shoes. Greetings again from the offices of Zerga <laughs> Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? Uh, I wanted to ask about hunting licenses. As I said, we are no longer... I'll kill you sand people. The sand people are because... It's That's fine. Uh, I will agree to do this for Excellent. you. Excellent. Now, just so we understand each other, this is an enforceable contract. Oh. Zerka Corporation takes this very seriously. Here's your license, and a few directions. We believe one of their enclaves is in the far south of the Dune Sea. You might try following one of our sand crawlers. They're regularly attacked. I wouldn't mind you escorting them. All right, then. See you later. Very good. Zerka Corporation looks forward to your future business. Okay, no dark side points for that. So that would that would imply to me that this was the only way we could get the license. So we've got that going for us, which is nice. I haven't completely, <laughs> completely ballsed it up. Okay, well that's pretty much the entirety of Anchorhead. We've seen everything we need to see. We've seen the the, the swoop racing, the Pazat players. We know that there is a droid for sale, just as we leave. But we need the coins to be able to afford it. So what I'll do between episodes then is I'll play Pazak until we can hopefully afford to buy that droid. And then there is nothing else to do in Anchorhead. You know, unlike um, Dantooine, it's it's a tiny little planet by comparison. Uh, Tatooine, that is. Uh, this is this is it for the for the quote-unquote city. So everything else is out in the sand dunes. And to be honest, the sand dunes themselves are also very, very small by comparison. So let's leave it there. Thank you all for watching. Apologize about the shorter video. Uh, I'm having to record this at like 2am as well, so I'm, I'm very, very tired. So I apologize that my reading skills have been <laughs> hampered a little bit. But we'll be back to normal on Monday. So see you all then.